this is music and these are 10 desert island records <laughs> So Mr. Boulder did it. He's reached the big one triple zero, one thousand subscribers. That is awesome. Congratulations! To celebrate that, he has launched a contest, and obviously, I want to be part of celebrating that he's reached one thousand subscribers. So this is my contribution. This is my entry into his contest. By the way, if you don't know his channel, check it out. It's a great VC vinyl community channel. So he shows a lot of vinyl records and CDs. He does update, you know, collection update videos. He does some really cool uh, discography ranking videos uh, that I think are really interesting. Just a great channel. Shows a lot of metal, lots of hard rock as well, but he has a very broad taste in music. So you got some hip hop, you got some pop music, you got some alternative rock, classic rock, all sorts of different things that he shows. Really awesome. So the contest, the rules are very simple. There are two tasks. Of the first one is to show uh, or give a shout out to a one, two, three, whatever uh, channels um, on YouTube that are music or VC vinyl community channels. And the second uh, task is to show ten albums that you would bring with you if you were marooned on a desert island for a month and you only had those albums that you could listen to so here is my contribution to celebrating his 1000 subscribers so up first uh shout outs i want to give a shout out to metal rocker 86 it's more of a of a review channel he reviews rock and metal um, albums he's done an entire ale storm review in pirate english the whole damn thing he's done a uh, a kiss album review in full gene simmons makeup i think it was um, so he does lots of really detailed reviews um, also uh, he does like some guitar stuff as well and he does does show some you know vinyl collection things every now and then but it's mainly a review channel uh, I also want to give a shout out to Tainted Lord 87. Uh, they're actually friends. They've done some, um, at least one collaboration video. Uh, Tainted Lord 87, really chill dude, does videos when he feels like it. Um, and he shows off uh, a lot of more modern metal CDs and metalcore CDs, uh, music that I don't really know a lot about. So I always think that's really interesting to watch his videos. So those were my two shout outs let's turn to the desert island records i got 10 vinyl records simply because that was the easiest for me it was easier for me to just grab some vinyl than going through my my cds and my cassette tapes so 10 vinyl records and um yeah so a month on a desert island with 10 vinyl records a month is not that long desert island but not deserted island um, because i assume that if i can listen to albums there will be kind of amenities at least electricity uh there will be a, a, a hi-fi system on that island somewhere probably a house maybe a swimming pool i'm thinking it's a month on a tropical island i'm on holiday so uh let's have a look at the uh, records up first the racer's edge by acdc i could have picked any acdc album it's one of my favorite bands and i love all their albums this one has some really cool songs you know, thunderstruck fire your guns um money talks uh, all the songs are good in my opinion even mistress for christmas uh, some people dunk on that one i like it so this will certainly be one album but i could have picked any uh any album by acdc um world domination by bandmate uh, this is melodic hard rock uh but with quite a punch to it uh they sing mainly in japanese really good uh actually brilliant one of my favorite bands 
and uh, I picked this one because it's one of the more hard-hitting albums and there's a lot of musical diversity on it if I had if I had uh, Unseen World on vinyl I would probably have brought that one but this one is awesome too so Bandmate, uh, World Domination, Hard Rock now some death metal uh, Carcass, Necroticism, Discanting the Insalibris or something like that it's a very long title uh, my favorite Carcass album one of my favorite death metal albums um, great stuff the songs are they're almost, in a way, kind of progressive. We're not talking technical death metal, but the songs are kind of composed in, in unusual uh, fashions. So I would say it's slightly progressive, awesome death metal by Carcass. Um, up next, Vanity Nemesis by Celtic Frost. I could have picked any Celtic Frost album, even Cold Lake. But I went with this one because I actually really like this one it's one of my favorite albums too and it has some of the best uh tom warrior grunts huh, ever um so that's that's not the only reason but it, i think it's a very good underrated album it's kind of like mid-tempo thrash metal uh really good stuff um up next more death metal human by death has some awesome songs on it suicide machine is brilliant um this one is is um in the beginning of death going in a more progressive direction but it's still very brutal I don't know, maybe not brutal but it has a, a punch to it it still has a death metal sound to it it has death growls to it it's a brilliant album death one of my favorite bands if i had symbolic on vinyl i would probably have brought symbolic instead but human brilliant too um and up next some melodic hard rock again dizzy miss lizzy uh their debut album self-titled uh very polished very catchy uh, very uplifting melodic hard rock all the songs in this one are brilliant and the ballads too i tend to not like ballads but the ballads in this one are brilliant too this is just awesome uh 90s hard rock um so that is obviously something i want to bring along also this one here inside out progressive metal fates warning um my favorite fates warning album it has a song on it called monument which is a masterpiece and what i like about this album is that it's very accessible uh and at the same time very you know progressive the songs are short but the um sort of overall approach to writing and performing music is 100 percent progressive and there's some fantastic drumming on here too inside out by fate's warning obviously i have to bring this one it's my favorite album of all time iron maiden somewhere in time all the songs on this one are fantastic there's some awesome guitar solos by adrian smith on here just you, you know you have some fast songs uh, you have uh, some epics, so fast song could be, uh, the title track is fast and galloping, uh, loneliness of the long distance runner, another fast song, and you have some slower songs, like uh, Stranger in a Strange Land, Wasted Years, and you have an epic song even, Alexander the Great, my favorite album of all time, of course I'm gonna bring that, and uh, Blaze and Stone by Running Wild, I could have picked any Running Wild album up until and including probably uh, Pile of Skulls for certain. But I went with this one because uh, it has some, some very good songs on it, some really catchy choruses. Um, there's a song called Slavery, uh, which is fantastic. I, I think it's on this one. I should have checked. Uh, yeah, Slavery, awesome. Lone Wolf, Fire and Ice uh the title track heads or tails fantastic song so yeah running wild uh blaze and stone and up last solitude eternus beyond the crimson horizon this one was recently reissued i just got it the other day awesome awesome epic doom metal um i would say there are two albums that you have to check out if you're interested in epic doom metal 
One is Epicus Dumicus Metallicus by Candlemas. The other one is Beyond the Crimson Horizon by Solitude Eternus. I love both albums, but this one is better in my opinion. Um, it's because I have like a personal history with it. It was one of the first doom metal albums I heard. It just clicked with me immediately. Fantastic vocals, fantastic compositions, just a great album. So yeah, those were my 10 Desert Island albums. And check out Metal Rocker 86 and Tainted Lord 87 as well. And of course, congratulations to Mr. Boulder for reaching 1000 subscribers. That's amazing. Congratulations and thanks for watching.